Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a sitemap for your application. I get this question a lot actually because there are a couple different ways that you can do it. The first way, which is more direct and uh, better suited for simpler applications, is under your settings here and then under SEO and meta tags. You'll, there's an SEO settings section near the middle of this whole screen here where you can expose a sitemap file. When you have this checked, Bubble will reveal to you all of your pages, okay? And you can select which pages you want to be included in the sitemap. These are pages that you'll allow search engines to crawl and index. Um, if you leave one off, then that page will get ignored. This is a very, very fast way to get uh, the sitemap that you want. The file that Bubble generates for you is called sitemap.xml. It's an XML file, and if you want to access it through a web browser, all you need to do is go to your apps domain, uh, and then forward slash, and then sitemap.xml, just like you see here, I've written it out for you like that. Do keep in mind that your sitemap will be different between your development and your live version, so if something isn't looking right, make sure that you're on the right version. If you want to manually upload a sitemap file, make sure that the first thing you do is you uh, remove the check mark from this section here because we do not want bubble generating the file for you. You can manually upload a sitemap file at the very bottom of this screen in this section down here. This is allowing you to override um, and customize your sitemap for at your application, but you want to make sure that this checkbox is not checked, otherwise they're going to conflict um, and the sitemap won't work. So upload your file by clicking on the uploader button here. You can even preview it by clicking on the C button and then uh, just enter in the file name. It's best if you just label it sitemap like this dot XML so that everything is uniform um, across the files that are uploaded and when you're going to it in a browser and most importantly when you're submitting it to the Google search console. I have mine open up over here. Um, it's very, very straightforward. If you go to the sitemaps for your domain, all you have to do is enter in sitemap.xml. Um, it's all set up here for you. You'll hit submit and Google will be able to crawl all of those URLs and index them properly. If something's, go if the if something's gone wrong and there's an error, you'll see that status message show up here um, and you can check out your sitemap file and make sure that there wasn't um, a, a broken link or something like that. But once you've submitted this file to Google uh, and you have a success status here and you can uh, look at all of the URLs that it was able to pull out, uh, you should be good to go with your sitemap. Again, labeling it sitemap.xml is going to be the easiest, most straightforward method of doing this. If you need to update your sitemap for whatever reason, just delete it from your uh, list here. So I've got this set up here. Once I hit save, uh, now this file has been saved to the root directory of my application. Um, if you need to replace it, uh, just re-upload a new file. You can click here and it'll pull up your uh, file window to choose a new file there and you'll want to deploy your application again um, to make sure that uh, Google's able to pick up the most recent file that you've uploaded. Uploading your own sitemap file is really important especially if you have um, dynamic pages. For example, if you have created a blog system in your application where the blog post page is a dynamic page, or if you have user profile pages where the profile page is one page and you're sending dynamic data to it. Obviously, when you click on um, expose a sitemap file, you're not going to see a separate page for every single uh, dynamic user or dynamic blog post. You're just going to see that one profile or blog post page. So that's that's definitely a case when you want to turn this off. Whoops, you want to turn this off um, and upload your own file there. I'll show you an example for coaching no code apps, uh, site own sitemap file. Um, you'll see that we have uh, our static pages, but then there's a long list of all of the blog posts uh, published by Coaching No Code Apps, um, and they've all been uh, added to this file manually, and we used the manual sitemap file uploader uh, to get this to work here and have Google be able to crawl each URL individually. 
If you're interested in more tips just like this, I have a free download over on my site that you can get to by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, and that's where you can download the guide for free. Thanks so much for watching.